Lost your dinner ready. Steak and kidney pie. What have you got there? Toothpick. <laughs> what do you look at? Billiard cues. Well, that's what they are. Billiard cues. I do wish you'd stop asking these rhetorical questions. It's a very irritating habit you've got. Oh, God, you're in a bad mood this evening. I'm not in a bad mood. Look, I haven't. I'm in a very good mood. I'm feeling very pleased with myself. I've had a very nice little tickle. Oh, I've done very cute. Complete showers. A lovely scoreboard. I've got a beautiful full frame of ivory balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're all right, aren't they? You did very well there. We'll take them down to the temperance billiard hall and flog them. That's right, I've just bought them from you, twit. <laughs> closing down, having a cello. Yeah, old temperance closing down. Oh, what a shame. The working man's playing fields of healing, that was. <laughs> huh? Where are you going to sell this lot, anyway? Oh, I'd sell it, I'll keep them. What for? I'm going to work up a juggling act. Da, 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 da. <laughs> You're right to take out, aren't you, eh? Rhetorical questions. I'm going to play with them. Where? On the sideboard. <laughs> I've bought a table, haven't I? I'll give him 25 quid for the lot, arrange me on removal. It's been delivered tomorrow morning. Been delivered? Wasting all that money, you should have put it on the cart. If I'd have put that table on the cart, the horse would have gone straight up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> have you any idea how much them things weigh? It takes half a dozen blokes to shift it. That's a beautiful table, Dad. It's number eight. The one I always used to play on when I went down there. It's the best table in the hall. And that is mine. That's a dream fulfilled. I've always wanted my own billiard room. You know, like in them country houses. You know, I'll see it on pictures. You know, after dinner, all in their evening dress, put all the birds upstairs, cup hold the lady candle, light the cigars, and throw open the double doors into the prime panel billiard room. Oh, yeah. That's very civilised. Me three hours of vintage poetry, good conversation, broken only by the soft click of the ivory and the gentle rip of the green bay. <laughs> That's very funny. A very good player I am, mate. I've got my name on a few cups down there, I can tell you. Yeah, teacups from the counter. That's all you've got. Look, you can't go down there twice a week for ten years and be a lot of old rubbish. You never see me play, have you? No. Then you're in for a real surprise, aren't you? Come on, help me see that. I can help it clean the lounge out. What for? To make room for the table, you fool. <laughs> You're not bringing that table in here. This is our lounge. It was. It is now my billiard room. <laughs> there he is. My last opponent. Still facing away from me. <laughs> You're potty. You're never getting a full billiard table in here. Of course you will. You'd be surprised how much room there is in here once you clear all this rubbish out. We need a lounge. We have to have a lounge somewhere to sit in the evening. What? We'll put the lounge up in your bedroom. <laughs> That's very modern, that is. We know these new townhouses. It's got all their lounges upstairs. That's the latest trend these days. You're not kicking me out of my bedroom. Where did I sleep? There's loads of places. Well, I'll stick a ladder up to the loft. Oh, you can go in that little cupboard under the stairs. <laughs> You've been there before. Very warm, you said it was. No, no, there's lots of places, and you're only a small bloke. You don't take much room. I am not going up in the loft, under the stairs, or out in the stable. Mm, you are awkward, aren't you? <laughs> All right, then. I'll bang you a mattress underneath the billiard table. <laughs> and put some nice curtains round, which will be very nice. It'll be just like sleeping in a low four-poster. <laughs> Supposing I would have one of me turns and then I wake up suddenly, I could kill myself. <laughs> Here, I'll bang that on. <laughs> I'm going to tell you about the trenches. <laughs> oh, come on, I don't make problems, Dad. But it's nice to be very elegant. I can't be many houses round here with a billiards room. No, and it can't be many old men sleeping under tables either. <laughs> That's good, Come on, let's have some of this stuff. Here. Why don't you get a half-size table? Then we could eat off it and we wouldn't have to move anything. Half-size table? You must be joking. I can't play a serious game on a half-size table. And that is like asking a pole vaulter to jump two foot six. <laughs> <laughs> I can play the game, Dad. You know what I mean? No, 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 no. It's got to be all or nothing. Well, I'm not shitting any furniture tonight. Come on into the kitchen, have your dinner. It's been in the oven for hours. I think I'll panel it out with them tea chests. They look very nice, all varnished up. Yeah, get that down, yeah. No, no, I'm too excited. I couldn't eat nothing. You eat it, I made it. <laughs> Take my kidney pie. Lovely. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? I think I've lost a 
truth. That was the man. <laughs> I hit. This isn't one of mine. <laughs> You've done it good, haven't you? You've been decorating that pipe pot for them old two for your... <laughs> oh, they gave it a nice pattern. <laughs> Love is his love at the time. You'll be finding fingernails in him next. Dad, Dad, are you in there? Yeah, and I doubt he will ever get out. <laughs> You look like Tutankhamen and Carmen buried in all his treasure. <laughs> I think I'll warn you up in the morning. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yeah, hang about, hang about. How's that okay? Is it up? Yeah, it's up, right, haven't I? All ready to use. Get out of there. It's up, it's up. I told you it'd fit in. Oh, right. Thank you. It was hard work, it was, Governor. <laughs> Very hard work indeed. Ah, oh, thanks very much, Governor. Enjoy yourself with it. Here, here's our card in case you need us again. Right, here you go. Come on, Dad. Well, all ready. Here we go. <laughs> if you can't come in and uh, watch me practice, you're very welcome to. Well, you and your billiard tables ruining this house, you are. Of course, it's not. You have got no imagination, have you, Al? That's the difference between you and me. You cannot visualize how a room's going to look when it's finally finished. Who says it doesn't have a fit in there? It doesn't have a fit in there. <laughs> it's up, isn't it? Got a little fit in there. It fits perfectly. Come on. Very nice. Good job you didn't paddle out the room. We'd never have got in. <laughs> yeah, no. Right, let's try the claw pack. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go for a break. Come on, two, three. <laughs> this queue seems a bit long. <laughs> I've got some chopped sticks in the kitchen. Do you mind? Mind your doodies on the pocket. <laughs> I hope you're satisfied. I told you to never fit in. Wait, see? That's a bit crabby, that's all. But that's nothing that a few minor structural alterations won't put right. Such as? Well, uh, we can knock the kitchen out and bring that end into play. Then, uh, if we take this wall out here... The house will fall down. And the house will... The... <laughs> We'll put an RSJ to support the roof, and there you go. It'll be much better. Let's make the whole of the ground floor into one big room. It'll be easier to drill holes all through the walls. Now that <laughs> someone can poke your cue through. I'll poke your cue through you in a minute. <laughs> well, I didn't expect it to be perfect first time. I mean, if I had one or two things wrong, but, but I mean, there's nothing to do with we can't put right. I, I, I mean, at least now we know what is required. I mean, it's nothing matter, really, to a really first-class player. It is simply a question of bringing the cue ball back to a position again where you can clobber it again. <laughs> it's very simple if you know the game. All right, then, go on. Let's see you. This game. Oh, look, you. That's the second remark you've made about my ability. I suppose you think you could do better. Oh, I didn't say that. I just said it was a rotten shot. Oh, no, it was a rotten shot. I mistimed it. I gave it a little bit too much left hand side. <laughs> it's a normal mistake anybody can make under these circumstances. Yeah, there's 15 reds to shoot at. What did you make? Made you hit that one? I suppose you'd have sunk all six, one in each pocket. <laughs> <laughs> you'd have gone in off my first shot, wouldn't you? No. Look, mate, I could take you on any devil. We can't beat you. Have you fancy your chance? Cut hold of a queue. Come on, get out of a queue, eh? Get out of one. Let's have a look at what you can do. I mean, you're always doing everything else so easy. You should be able to play this game. This should give you no trouble. Yeah, I don't feel like playing today. Yeah, I'll bet you don't, because you know you'll get turned over. <laughs> you're not a bad judge, neither. Well, you stand no chance with me. You get well and truly good. Mm. <laughs> not from what I've seen so far. Oh, come on, come out of a queue. Come on, let's have a look at you. Yeah, you can't play it properly in here. Oh, don't start blaming the rules. I mean, it is the same for both of us. Look, if you don't want to play me, uh, don't make excuses. I mean, I can fully understand you don't want to be humiliated. That's quite understandable. 
Uh, you just can't accept the fact that there's something I can do better than you, can you? You <laughs> cocky little bleeder. <laughs> Okay. I just know my own strength, that's all. <laughs> now, are you going to give me a game? Are you going to keep quiet like a good little man? I haven't played for over 40 years. Oh, oh well, I'm sure that won't bother you. I'm sure you're still quite brilliant. Oh, well, I'll have a go. Pound a frame? Or would you prefer something a little less strong? Like the best out of three for a tanner? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, confidence. Ooh. All right, I'll give you that for a start, that four. Come on, it's your go. That's quite good. You can see you've played before. Get on with it. <laughs> Four away. Well, Neil, I'm going to win this without having to pot anything. Make your shot. I thought you said you could play this game. Make your shot. <laughs> oh, there's one. I can see that one. Did you? <laughs> Get your eyes up in this game, mate. <laughs> Eight all together. Your go. Here, that's twenty nil. Shut up. Object, isn't it? <laughs> Both feet on the floor. <laughs> Give me the shot, Kim. We haven't got one. <laughs> You can't play in here. That's the same for both of us. No, you ain't. You're smaller than I am and you can't play and I can. <laughs> no, I use it a quack technique. Feet wide apart, body over the apex, elbow well back. You just jab away and hope for the best. Well, it works, don't it? Because you're still bleeding jammy. <laughs> Beginner's luck. Yeah, rubbish. They're all played for, my shots. So you've got 24 points, 16, which I'll give you. Yeah, you're a rotten player. I'm not a rotten player. I'm going to beat you any time away. I'll beat you at everything else. No, no. That's why I'm going to beat you at snooker, which is my game, mate. And we're going to carry on playing until I've won and threatened you. Okay, then. Two pound of frame. Right, two pound of frame. Right. 
Margot, stop what's going on here. <laughs> Where are we standing? Morning, Harry. Seven frames, 50 pounds for the winner. Side bets are 20 pounds for every break over 50. I'm not oh. being out here. <laughs> You're worried now, aren't you, eh? Hey, now I'm in conditions that suits me. You want to blow it out? It's cold out here. I'll catch pneumonia. Don't worry, mate. You won't have me out here long enough for that. No one's like it, Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, cream. Oh, oh. I can play my real repertoire of jobs now. Yeah, call for break. Let's carry a few break. <laughs> As you please, my dear. Oh, God. Oh, let's turn it in. It's three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> no, not to beat you. I'll beat you. It's dark, Carol. Not to me, eh? It's only a game. What does it matter if I'm winning? It matters to me. All my life it's been like that. I'm going to win this time. You've been lucky so far. But it can't last. It's got to run out. Then it's all down to skill. So I'll wear your shot. Oh, that's great, isn't it? I've only got to set that up. Yeah. Oh, that's not good, I don't know. Yeah, I'm a slow stop around, mate. 
notorious poet I am. Just beginning to get warmed up. Well, I'm bleeding well now. <laughs> in the same place twice. Now stop moaning. You'll break. <laughs> oh, I love your skinny little nose in it now. <laughs> You at last. I told you I could do it. I told you. Congratulations, son. <laughs> well done. <laughs> well, that's that right. I bet you. You certainly did. You played very well. Yo, yeah, well, I've got a natural attitude for games, haven't I? Oh, they must be freezing bad. Here, I'll go and make a nice hot cup of tea laced with some brandy, huh? I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll give you a few lessons tomorrow, show you exactly where you went wrong. <laughs> Thank you very much, son. I don't suppose they'll ever be as good as you are. Well, no. I don't suppose you will be. But you'll gradually get better. And as you can play a bit, it'll make things much more interesting for both of us. Come on, you, you go and put the balls away. I'm covering the table with a tarpaulin. I'll go and put a kettle on, all right? All right. Champ. Champ. <laughs> 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 